Hi everyone. Today we are discussing how to answer multiple choices from electrochemistry. Let us start the first question. Question says, the diagram shows the electrolysis of a concentrated aqueous solution containing both copper two ions and sodium ions. Which metal is deposited at the negative electrode and why? Now according to the question, you have sodium ions and copper ions. And they're asking about metal only. We know that since it is a solution, it has H plus also. But H plus doesn't come into the picture because the question is all about the positive ions, metal ions. So out of sodium and copper ions from the solution, you know, copper ions always undergo reduction. So answer is one of these. Then the reason copper is less reactive than sodium. That is a correct choice. That's a correct statement. Copper is more reactive than hydrogen. That is not correct and that's not the reason as well. So correct answer is A. Sodium can never be. So first answer is A. Then we are moving on to the next one. Question two. Diagram shows the apparatus used to electro electrolyze lead to bromide using inert electrodes. So PB, we have lead, to bromide, Pb2 plus and Br minus. These are the ions. Why does the lamp light up only when the lead to bromide is melted? Option A, bromine atoms in the lead to bromide are converted into ions when it is melted. That's not make any sense. You know, ionic compounds and ions are free always. And ions are present in the ionic lattices. Electrons flow through the lead to bromide. Electrons do not flow through the ionic compound. The ions in lead to bromide are free to move only when the solid is melted. That's correct. Uh, when the ions in solid state, they are not free to move. There are no ions in solid lead bromide. That's also a wrong statement. So it is C. I'm not going into the detailed discussion, but I'm explaining all the uh, options given as well, why we are choosing that option. Moving on to question three, which reaction does not involve either oxidation or reduction? You know, any reaction, oxygen reacting with an element or a compound is an example of oxidation reaction. So that is not copper two plus and Zn, that is metal displacement reaction, one metal displacing the other metal from its whole solution. It's also a displacement reaction. The next one is acid base reaction. You know, it's a base and it's an acid reaction. Acid base reactions are no trade offs. You can check in terms of uh, their charges or oxidation number as well. There is no change. So the correct answer is C. You know, the last one is metal displacement reaction and that's a redox reaction as well. So the correct choice is, correct answer is C. Moving on. Diagram shows the results in an electrolysis experiment using inert electrodes. Liquid X, which, li which could be liquid X, aqueous copper to sulfate. If aqueous copper to sulfate taken, you will be getting copper metal. Copper to sulfate means Cu2 plus, SO4 2 minus, H plus and OH minus. So out of that, the reduction is for copper, Oxidation is for OH minus. So copper metal is formed and oxygen gas is formed. So in this diagram, we see both of them are gases. And that also in the ratio uh, at the cathode, say this is the cathode, it is two to one, that's the ratio. Um, moving on to the next one, co concentrated aqueous sodium chloride. In concentrated aqueous sodium chloride, what are the ions? The ions are Na plus, Cl minus, H plus, OH minus. And they undergo reactions, Na plus and H plus, you know, obviously it is H plus. And uh, concentrated aqueous, since it is concentrated, it has to be chloride undergoing. So you get chlorine and you get hydrogen. So their ratio is one to one. So that cannot be the answer there. So option two is also not correct. Let us see option C, dilute sulfuric acid. 
dilute sulfuric acid has H plus from sulfuric acid, SO4 2 minus from sulfuric acid, H plus again from water, OH minus from sulfur, OH minus from water. The selection when you do, it is H plus only one cation, and out of sulfate and hydroxide, it is hydroxide. The rule says sulfate and nitrate for IGCC, we say sulfate and nitrate will stay on in the solution. So you get 2H plus plus two electrons gets H2 at the cathode and 4OH minus gives 2H2O plus O2 plus four electrons. So if you are writing the equation for four electrons, it is 4H plus plus four electrons gets you 2H2. So here, what we see is two hydrogen and one oxygen, one oxygen at the anode and two oxygen at the cathode for same number of electrons, four electrons, four electrons. So they are in the ratio two to one. So your answer is C. Now question is why not D? Ethanol is not an electrolyte, it doesn't conduct electricity. I hope it is clear, so it is answer is C. Now, we move on to the next question. Which reaction nitric acid is acting as an oxidizing agent? Nitric acid, C, nitric acid reacting with the copper, though it's not a familiar reaction at IGCSC because IGCSC we say copper doesn't react with the dilute acid. This is the reaction of copper with the concentrated acid. Yeah, copper is getting oxidized, so nitric acid is the oxidizing agent. In which reaction nitric acid is acting as an oxidizing agent? So the question is, uh, nitric acid is acting as an oxidizing agent, so your answer must be this. What about the next? So answer must be A. What about B, option B? It's an acid-base reaction, acid plus base. It's never an oxidation reaction. This is also a neutralization reaction. Neutralization reactions are not, again, neutralization is also not an acid uh, redox reaction. Final one is also an acid alkali reaction. Again, not redox reaction. They are not redox reaction. There is only one redox reaction. So our answer is A. Moving on to next. In the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide for the extraction of aluminum, the following three reactions take place. Aluminum reacting with the, uh, alumin actually the first one is the reduction of, a reduction of aluminum ions. Okay, then oxidation of oxide ions, carbon reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. All right, we are familiar to that. Which reactions take place at the anode? Which reaction is taking place at the anode? For that, you just, this is cathode, right? You know, this is oxidation at the anode. And then uh, oxygen produced at the anode is reacting with the anode itself. So this is also taking place at the anode. So your answer is, Two and question two, sorry, options two and three, which is equations two and three. So you can choose D as the answer. It's two and three, yeah. Next is, the diagram shows the electrolysis of molten lead to bromide using inert electrodes. Fine, what happens during the electrolysis? Atoms change to ions. Molten lead to bromide PbBr2 becomes Pb plus Br2. This is what is actually happening. You know Pb is 2 plus, bromine is in the form of Br minus. Just remember this. So atoms change to ions. No, actually ions are changing to atoms. Covalent bonds are broken. No, they have only ionic bonds. Ions change to atoms. That's correct. New compounds are formed. Actually, new elements are getting formed, new, new elements, elements are getting formed from the compounds. So your correct choice is C. Right, moving on to next. The equation shows what happens in a redox reaction between iron 2 chloride and chlorine gas. 
which equation describes the reduction process in this reaction? Reduction process, you know, here, we, it is better to look at the charges on them, Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus, and the chlorine, chloride over here and over here, this is minus one charge, and chlorine over here is, it's an element, so there is no charge. And some of this chlorine getting converted into, here, some of the chlorine with the Cl minus one. That is reduction. So two Cl minus, this reaction is not taking place here. Yeah, this is taking place. You know, this Cl2 is gaining two electrons and that is how it is becoming Cl minus there. Fe2 plus is becoming Fe3 plus, but that is oxidation. The question is for reduction. And this reduction is not taking place here as well. This is oxidation, but that is not a, the answer to our question. Our question is, which one is? The reduction process. So answer is uh, B. Let me also tell you redox reaction you can remember this way. Take the help of a number line you know minus one minus two minus three plus one plus two plus three. When there are charges increase. Increase means this direction right that is oxidation. Increase in the charge or oxidation number is oxidation. And uh, I think you should stick to one way, one direction. Uh, if increase in the oxidation number or the charge is oxidation, then obviously decrease will be reduction. So if they ask any change of minus two becomes minus one, that is increase in oxidation number or increase in charge, minus two to minus one or minus one becomes zero, or zero becomes plus one, or plus one becomes plus two, these are all oxidation reaction. That's an easy way to remember that. Which element can only be extracted from the ore by the electrolysis? How do you know that? You know, the rule says, uh, which element can only be extracted from its electrolysis is for highly reactive metals highly reactive metals. So which one out of them is a highly reactive metal? Copper, lead, silver, these are all less reactive metals. So only, you know, calcium in group two, highly reactive metal. So that is the answer. Highly reactive metals can be obtained only by the electrolysis. That's why, that's the answer. Question 10, how can sodium be manufactured by electrolyzing Correct by electrolyzing aqueous sodium chloride, sodium hydroxide. You know, aqueous solution, we will never get uh, sodium metal, such a reactive metal. So it has to be molten. Molten sodium chloride, that's right, by electrolyzing. By heating sodium oxide with the carbon, you know, this is a reactive metal, so carbon cannot do that reduction. So we say it is C11. Which statement about the electrolysis of an aqueous solution of copper to sulfate with the platinum electrode is correct? Oxygen is aqueous solution of copper to sulfate. So you have copper, sulfate, uh, H plus and OH minus. So copper, the rule is that when you have uh, metals below zinc in the reactivity series, those metals undergo reduction. Sulfate and hydroxide, we say, Hydroxide only undergo uh, oxidation. Oxygen is given off at the positive electrode. Which statement about uh, copper to sulfate with the, is correct. Oxygen is given off at the positive electrode. That is right. The mass of negative electrode remains constant. Not really, copper is getting deposited. The mass of the positive electrode decreases. Actually, it is oxygen gas produced at the anode and it is not changing the mass. There is no change in the color of the solution. There will be change because copper is getting removed. So the color of the solution will be slowly fading. So correct option is A. Which statement about conduction of electricity is correct? Electricity is conducted in aqueous solution by electrons. You know, solutions, it is by ions, not by electrons. Electrons, conduction due to electrons is only in metals as, in, as well as in graphite. 
electricity is conducted in a metal wire by ions. You know, in a metal wire, it is by electrons. Electricity is conducted in a molten electrolyte by electrons. Again, electrolyte, it is by uh, ions. Electricity is conducted in an acid solution by ion. Acid is an electrolyte. So in electrolyte, it is due to the movement of ions. That is why we choose the correct answer, taking out the wrong ones. Aqueous copper to sulfate is electrolyzed using copper electrodes. All right, that is, make a note, copy in using copper electrodes. So anode reaction is copper becomes Cu2 plus plus two electrons, and cathode reaction is Cu2 plus, just opposite of that. This is a cathode reaction. Just keep in mind, if you are using copper sulfate with the copper electrodes. Which equation represents the reaction taking place at the anode, positive, in this electrolysis? I told you already the answer. This is anode and this is cathode. Yes, so this is the reaction taking place. So correct answer is A, right? Now, the next question. Which equation is in which equation is the underlined element reduced? The first one. Uh, how do you answer? First one, what's the charge on this? Plus two. Sulfate is minus two. What's the charge? I mean, just check what's happening to that element on the right side. Zero. How do you know it is zero? Because the rule is all elements have zero oxidation state when they are in the elemental state or an unreacted state. Oxidation state or we, we can say charge as well. Yeah, that is reduction. What about this? Then this is plus two here, plus three there, oxidation. Sulfur plus four and plus six. It may be a bit too early for IGCC student, the introduction of oxidation numbers. Zinc, zero as an element, here it is plus two. So all others are examples of oxidation. This is the only one reduction reaction. So answer is A. Which gases are formed uh, during the production of aluminum by the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide. You know, in there, uh, you know that O2, O minus two, two O minus two gives O2 plus four electrons. Then this O2 reacts with the carbon to form carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. And there is a chance of fluoride ion from cryolite getting fluorine plus two electrons as well. So if you, you are in a position to explain the formation of all the four gases. So they talk about carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, oxygen. Yeah, that is right. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide doesn't come in this reaction at all. Then the other two options are, you know, here, since you have sulfur dioxide as common in the other options, so you can rule out those options. So you're correct. Answer is A. I hope you understand that. Otherwise, just replay the part which I explained. In which set of apparatus will the bulb be least bright? Here, let us see the conducting material. This is graphite rod, good conductor. Bulb will be bright. And here, solid lead to bromide. It doesn't conduct at all, right? And whereas in here, inert electrode, molten sodium, it will conduct. Molten sodium has got positive ions and negative electrons. Liquid mercury, it will conduct. These are all good conductors. And uh, uh, we would say, this is the one least bright. When we say it's almost, uh, it doesn't conduct. So we should choose this. Uh, this are graphite is has a conducting property just like metals and other two are metals so metals anyhow conduct graphite conduct and uh, lead bromide solid doesn't conduct because ions are not free to move so your uh, answer is b then the next question is which change always takes place when an aqueous solution of copper to sulfate is electrolyzed um, copper to sulfate is electrolyzed. Electrolyzed, yeah. So just keep in mind, 
copper is deposited at the negative electrodes does it happen yes copper is get, always getting deposited oxygen is evolved at the positive electrode oxygen is evolved at the positive electrode what change always takes place when an aqueous solution of copper to sulfate is electrolyzed copper is deposited that is correct oxygen is evolved at the positive electrode sometimes it is right sulfate ions are moved up towards the negative electrode sulfate ions are negative they are moving towards a positive electrode not correct the color of the solution fades it doesn't happen always you know when you have copper electrodes it doesn't happen and this is also not happening when you have copper electrodes so considering those options we can rule out b and d so correct answer is a way because in whatever conditions you have inert electrodes or you have reactive electrodes copper is getting deposited at the cathode so correct answer is uh, a we have to always in multiple choices we have to choose the best choice you know which substance will conduct electricity without being chemically changed sodium chloride solution you know electrolysis means it is chemical change so that is not solid ion it doesn't get chemically changed solid sodium chloride solid sodium chloride doesn't conduct at all solid sulfur no conduction it will change and the ion no change other two are not conducting yeah so the correct answer is b moving on which reaction in which reaction is the underlying substance behaves as an oxidizing agent i would say oxidizing agent means undergoing reduction this undergoes reduction so barium 2 plus here barium 2 plus so no change ammonia uh, the charge on ammonia is nitrogen uh, reduction is uh, here hydrogen is getting removed hydrogen is getting removed is oxidation or the charge on nitrogen here in two ways you can see um, from ammonia the reduction in terms of hydrogen uh, adding hydrogen is adding hydrogen is reduction removal of hydrogen is oxidation so by taking that this is oxidation so it should undergo reduction that's what we said initially you remember so that is not whereas in here the next one chlorine from zero it becomes minus one it's undergoing reduction when it undergoes reduction when it undergoes reduction it acts as an oxidizing agent so we get c as the answer why not it is d uh, sulfur is plus four there becomes plus six it undergoes oxidation so we were looking for oxidizing agent which undergoes reduction i hope that's clear aluminum is manufactured by the electrolysis of aluminum oxide which substances are produced at the electrodes uh, yeah in aluminum you get aluminum positive electrodes aluminum no negative electrode only we get aluminum see negative electrode we get aluminum that is very correct and carbon dioxide is produced at the positive electrode that's also correct and carbon dioxide you know this is not produced these are not produced at the cathode so when you rule out the possibility of few of them possibly you will come up with the correct answer yeah positive electrode you can't have uh, aluminum coming because the rule is that metals and hydrogen should be at the cathode so i hope that is pretty clear right aluminum and oxygen so you know at the negative electrode which is cathode we get aluminum and at the positive electrode we said you get oxygen you get carbon dioxide you get carbon monoxide and you get you even get fluorine these are the products during electrolysis of uh, aluminum oxide for the pr preparation of aluminum next question in the experiment shown below in the diagram the bulb lights and a gas is produced at each electrode inert electrodes x is uh, an electrolyte right bulb lights up means uh, current is flowing through and a gas is produced at each of the electrode 
aqueous copper to sulfate you know whenever copper is there copper will be deposited so we can't get gas in on both electrodes concentrated aqueous sodium chloride that is right you get hydrogen and you get chlorine because it is concentrated aqueous sodium chloride sodium chloride gives an a plus and cl minus water gives h plus and oh minus the selection is uh, you know why we select h plus is sodium being very reactive its ion undergoes in the reacted state which is oxidized state it doesn't undergo reduction reduction idea is any metal below sink and below in the reactivity series undergoes reduction out of cl minus and oh minus since uh, it says uh, the question says it is con option says concentrated aqueous sodium chloride chloride is selected why when uh, chlorides in solution the product depends on the concentration of the solution if it is concentrated solution chloride undergoes oxidation if it is dilute solution oh minus undergoes oxidation so you get two gases hydrogen and chlorine so probably that is our answer that is correct choice now let us move on ethanol doesn't undergo uh, any electrolysis molten lead bromide you get lead metal and bromine gas so this is our only two gases so correct choice is b next question which method of preparation of magnesium sulfate is an example of a redox reaction again magnesium is zero plus two yes it's oxidation obviously hydrogen you can see undergoing reduction if you write its ionic equation that will be a good idea mg plus 2h plus gets you mg2 plus plus h2 from here you can see zero becomes plus two that is oxidation and plus one becomes zero that is reduction that's an easy way to figure out so you got the answer uh, is an example of redox reaction so this is magnesium sulfate formed and that's a redox reaction now let us see others why do we say that other answers are not correct magnesium is plus two magnesium is plus two it's not a redox reaction you know this is an acid base reaction bash 2o i say why do i say bash 2o base plus acid gives salt plus water that is bash 2o reaction this is also a bash 2o reaction magnesium oxide magnesium hydroxide both of them are bases right magnesium carbonate you know carbonate is also an example of neutralization reaction so we say these three are not redox reactions please uh, i think that is one something you can remember uh, for the rest of the year in your igcc or even the further studies any reactions neutralization reactions are not redox reactions there is no change in their oxidation numbers or uh, the charges so correct answer is a day when concentrated aqueous sodium chloride is electrolyzed concentrated aqueous sodium chloride again na plus cl minus h plus oh minus using carbon electrodes which row correctly state the products you know you always choose h plus here i said why sodium doesn't undergo reduction chloride from there because it is concentrated so cathode is hydrogen anode is chlorine so you get hydrogen and hydrogen here chlorine and oxygen so hydrogen chlorine and the solution remaining will be sodium hydroxide yes and that is this b and that's how you will know that right next is in the experiment shown in the diagram the bulb lights and two colorless gases are formed at each of the electrode already we have done this question this is just repeated and so is b you remember i think this is a repeat question so we skip this question which method is used in industry to extract aluminum from bauxite this is after doing the electrolysis chapter you know that is electrolysis anybody can write and the reason is you know this methods fail heating with the magnesium that can be done because magnesium uh, 
is more reactive than aluminum. We can think of it, but magnesium is very expensive. So industrially, that method is not used. So if uh, they're asking lab method, probably you can say that magnesium can be done, but industrially it is electrolysis. That is just a knowledge based question. And also you can apply saying that, oh yeah, it's a very reactive metal. So it will be extracted by the electrolysis only. Next, the diagram shows the electrolysis experiment uh, using inert electrodes, right. Before electrolysis, after electrolysis. After electrolysis, whenever you get this kind of gases, obviously at the negative, it is hydrogen and this is oxygen. Once again, let me tell you, it is because four H plus plus four electrons gets you two H2. Whereas here, four OH minus gives two H2O plus O2 plus four electrons. For the same number of electrons, four electrons, four electrons, you see the number of uh, moles of gases formed, 2H2 and 1O2. Yeah, so it is, bit, it, it is hydrogen and oxygen. Aqueous copper sulfate, aqueous copper, in which could be the liquid Y they are asking. Uh, it cannot be copper because copper will be deposited, it won't be a gas. Concentrated aqueous sodium chloride. I think you also have an idea. You also think like it may be this one, but all right, let us do the selection. H plus, Na plus cannot be, Na plus is too reactive, it will remain. Since it is concentrated, it will be chlorine. You know, when hydrogen and chlorine are formed, 2H plus plus two electrons gets you H2. This is the cathode reaction. Under the anode, two Cl minus gives Cl2 plus two electrons. See, for same number of electrons, like two and two, gas produced are one mole of hydrogen, one mole of chlorine. So they are not in the ratio two to one. They are in the ratio one to one. So this cannot be your answer because if that is the case, the gases produced should be in the same volume, same ratio. Dilute sulfuric acid. Let us just see sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid gives H plus and SO4 two minus from sulfuric acid and H plus and OH minus from water. So now you, when you do the selection, it is H plus and OH minus. Sulfate never undergoes oxidation. So once you get these two, obviously it matches with the, this equation. So hydrogen and oxygen are produced in the ratio two to one. Just keep in mind that is because of the number of, uh, either number of electrons you can say, or number of moles of electrons if you, are, if you know about moles. Ethanol doesn't undergo any electrolysis, you know. Equation for the reaction of iron uh, and iron compounds are shown. How many of these are redox reaction? This is, you know, I told you, whenever metal plus acid is a redox. Why? Because it is, when you write the ionic equation, Fe plus 2H plus gives Fe2 plus plus H2. This is very well explained. Fe becomes Fe2 plus is oxidation. H plus becomes H2 is reduction. So that's a redox reaction. Fe Cl2 plus Cl2, gives FeCl3, you know, Fe2 plus becomes Fe3 plus, three plus, that's also a redox reaction. Chlorine undergoes reduction and Fe2 plus undergoes oxidation. FeSO4 plus Mg gives a, Fe plus MgSO4, metal displacement reaction. Its ionic equation also, Fe2 plus plus Mg gets you Mg2 plus plus Fe. So this is also a redox reaction. The next one is a precipitation reaction. Precipitation reactions are never. So you have three of them redox. I hope you understand that. Otherwise, rewind and watch again. In the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide, the extraction of aluminum, the following re three reactions occur. And which reaction occur at the positive electrode? We already answered this question also these two are the anodes, so the correct choice is this. Right, how could a sample of potassium be obtained from potassium chloride? Potassium chloride adding zinc, zinc is less reactive than potassium, you know. 
electrolyzing an aqueous solution. Aqueous solution of any reactive metal will produce hydrogen at the cathode, so that doesn't work. Electrolyzing molten, that's best, that is only work. So, and choice is D. This question, I would say, it is very difficult because they have already given three options and then they have four different options as to choose. So, it is, I rate it as a difficult question. Always for answering this kind of questions, you may choose the given statements are correct or wrong. Uh, you may put a tick or cross on that, it will help you. Concentrated aqueous solution of copper to chloride is electrolyzed using inert electrodes. Copper to chloride, inert electrode, aqueous copper to chloride. So you have Cu2 plus, Cl minus, H plus, OH minus. Choice of the cation this. Uh, I concentrated, so it is Cl minus, copper and chlorine. What product is the positive electrode? Positive electrode, it has to be either chlorine or oxygen, but since it is concentrated, it will be chlorine. That's a rule says, you know, when it is concentrated solution of chloride, chlorine should undergo or it undergoes oxidation. All right. Now, the next one is the diagram shows the electrolysis experiment using inert electrodes before electrolysis and after. I think this question also we have done. Yeah, you remembered the question answer is sulfuric acid. Then only we explained it. Why is it in the ratio two to one? Which ionic equation uh, describes an redox reaction? Uh, this is an ionic equation, Ag plus there, here also Ag plus and Cl minus one. You know, when you think of, it is not, uh, it is just a precipitation reaction. Precipitation reactions are not. And the next one is uh, H plus there and uh, uh, H plus here as well. You know, in water also it is H plus. Carbonate there and uh, carbon dioxide here. This is also an acid and a carbonate reaction. That is not a redox. It's a neutralization reaction, not a redox. H plus plus OH minus. It's a neutralization reaction. It's not a redox. This is redox because sink was zero. It becomes two plus oxidation. Cu2 plus becomes Cu. That is reduction. So answer is D. That is redox. Moving on to the next. In the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide for the extraction of aluminum, the following equations, which reactions, isn't it occurring the third time? Answer doesn't change. Answer is the same. Right, next one. Diagram shows the electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride and molten sodium chloride. Yeah, one side is aqueous, one side is molten. Right, graphite electrodes. You know what, when it is connected here, it's plus and this is minus. Due to induction, here minus is induced and here positive is induced. You know, that is due to induction. Which substance in the diagram has both positive ions and mobile electrons? Aqueous sodium chloride, copper wire, both positive ions and mobile electrons. Don't you know that the positive, elect positive ions and the mobile electrons will be a part of metal only? You know, the positive ion and the mobile electrons. So copper wire will be the answer. Graphite, ion, uh, graphite electrodes, they have only negative electrons. You know, there is no positive ion. Molten sodium chloride, there is no electron, only positive ion and negative ions. You know, these two have positive and negative ions. And copper wire is the correct answer because the question, in, it's an indirect way of asking which one is a metal. You should, you know, that's a tricky question. Which statement describes the conversion of magnesium atoms to magnesium ions? The change is reduction, magnesium atom. You know, probably you can write magnesium atom becomes magnesium ion. Of course it is metal, so it's losing electron. The change is reduction, no, no. The change is oxidation because there has been a loss of electron, yes. Uh, gain of electron, no. How do you remember oil, rick? Oxidation is losing 
LOSING losing electron reduction is gaining electrons it's in terms of electrons only just keep in mind oil rig we use as a mnemonic when and the changes are explained on the basis of electrons all right so in uh, electrolysis chapter i'll explain what is redox in terms of hydrogen in terms of oxygen in terms of electrons in terms of oxidation number next question when dilute sulfuric acid is electrolyzed between inert electrodes which statement is correct dilute h2so4 h plus so4 2 minus that's from sulfuric acid we don't have to write to the a because it's just the positive and negative ones we write from water h plus and oh minus right that is dilute sulfuric acid now we need to choose the ions h plus a any of this two h plus you can circle and oh minus because the rule says sulfate does not undergo oxidation all right so it produces hydrogen this produces oxygen hydrogen at the cathode oxygen at the anode hydrogen is released at the negative electrode that's right oxygen is released at the positive electrode that's right sulfur dioxide is released the acid becomes more concentrated is that true that is true because you know from the acid water is getting split up water is getting split up so the acid is becoming more concentrated as the amount of water decreases so uh, which choice is correct one two and four right moving on to the next when electrolyzed using inert electrodes which dilute solution would produce the greatest increase in mass of, uh, of the cathode you know here we should know that this is positive this is negative so this is positive this is negative rest all are by induction okay this is negative this is positive this is negative this is positive this is negative this is positive you know this negative over here induces positive here i can think of like that all right now um when electrolyzed using inert electrodes which dilute solution would produce the greatest increase in mass at the cathode which are the cathode here you have the cathode here cathode here cathode and this is cathode aluminum sulfate very reactive metal so aluminum sulfate will not produce aluminum metal at the cathode it's only hydrogen copper sulfate yes copper will be produced lead sulfate yes lead will also will be deposited silver silver also will be deposited now you have to see copper two plus plus two electrons gets you copper lead pb two plus plus two electrons will give you pb silver silver plus one plus one electron will get you uh, silver for the same amount of electricity you need to for the same amount of electricity means same amount of electrons so you need to write for silver 2ag plus plus two electrons get you 2ag so what is the mass of copper same amount of electricity so you need to write same electrons right copper mass is written 64 gram you know one mole if it is deposited and for lead one mole is 207 gram I'm, I'm taking the masses from here and for silver it is two times 108 108 times 2 is 216 so this will produce maximum amount for the same amount of electricity maximum increase in mass will be produced at the silver electrodes so your choice is d I rate it as again as a, a tough question yeah I hope you understood it aluminum is manufactured by the electrolysis of molten aluminum oxide which gas is not formed during this process molten uh, you remember if you remember let me write it again carbon dioxide carbon monoxide oxygen and fluorine these are the gases formed sulfur dioxide is never formed that's the right answer right so 
next question for us is the diagram shows the electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride and of molten sodium chloride aqueous and molten sodium chloride oh, this question was there again you know because we said copper wire is the correct answer there so repeat which process will separate an ionic compound pq into its elements p and q that's a basic definition of electrolysis electrolysis means ionic compounds will be split up into its elements when electricity is passed that's the definition of electrolysis right from the definition we know it is electrolysis that, that's a question also any compound is split up, getting split up into its elements which statement describes the conversion of magnesium atoms to magnesium ions we have written we have discussed this as well moving on which arrangement would be used to electroplate copper onto steel key you know whenever we do the electroplating the rule is that anode should be electro copper copper you know copper or the metal with which we are doing the plating and cathode should be the object uh, steel key steel key what's a role uh, it should be the object and uh, you know the electrolyte should be electrolyte should be the metal with which you are coating it should contain that ion so if it is copper the electrolyte should contain it is aqueous copper you know something of copper these two are correct so we can start with the a or b looking at anode should be what anode should be piece of pure copper or steel key piece of pure copper you know we said it should be copper and steel key should be at the cathode so by applying our rules it is a is the correct choice All right, moving on to the next which equation represents a redox reaction this question we have discussed and uh, we said uh, these are not right and this is copper is getting right you remember that diagram shows the apparatus needed to extract aluminum from aluminum oxide which statement about this process is correct electrolyte is a solid mixture of uh, you know the statement is electrolyte is a molten mixture of that's a correct statement mixture of aluminum oxide and cryolite then in that case it would have been electrolyte is aluminum oxide dissolved in water no no the equation for the reaction at the positive electrode is this is at the negative electrode so the last one is correct positive carbon electrodes lose mass during the process and need a regular displacement replacement that is right because oxygen produced will react with the anode itself so it will we will we will solve 50 questions uh, graphite is often used as electrodes as the electrodes in the electrolysis of solution which particles are involved in the conduction of electricity by graphite graphite which particle is involved isn't it only electron graphite is just like metals negative ions no negative ions only in the electrolyte positive ions and electrons no positive ions and negative ions that's electrolyte since they said graphite it is only electrons just like metals 46 the aqueous potassium iodide can be used as a test reagent in redox reactions iodide ions are readily oxidized or reduced you know iodide ions can it undergo it can undergo only uh, oxidation right you know all the halide ions can undergo so it is going to be readily oxidized why is why are they getting oxidized because they are losing electrons uh, a positive result for the test is when the solution changes uh, color from you know during this reaction if you're using potassium iodide that is in the colorless form and this one will be the color color of the iodine is brown so colorless to brown so here why is colorless this is brown this is colorless and this is brown. i mean these two are colorless or oh, this is oxidized we have a b correct because oxidized there 
and colorless here and the brown here. So that's correct choice. 42, uh, and the extraction of aluminum by the electrolysis of its oxide dissolved in molten cryolite. Cryolite is a sodium salt. It's in fact Na3AlF6. Yeah, or you can also write 3NaF, 3NaF, and uh, ALF3. You know, this is a mixture of these two salts together. That is what is cryolite. Anyhow, if you don't want to know, there is no problem. Aluminum is deposited at the at the cathode because it's a it's a it's a metal, and it can be deduced that aluminum is dash sodium in the reactivity series below, right? Below sodium in the reactivity. Which words? A positive electrode. Uh, what is the first part? Cathode. Cathode is negative electrode. So the negative electrode, negative electrode, either of this. And uh, the second one is uh, aluminum is below, below sodium. So it is below, below is here. So correct choice is D. D is the correct choice. Right. 48, a concentrated aqueous solution of sodium chloride is electrolyzed. Remember, it's concentrated. Yeah. Na plus Cl minus from sodium chloride. H plus or H minus from water. This selection is H plus. And since it is concentrated, it is Cl minus. Just keep in mind. From what is the equation for the reaction taking place at the cathode and the anode? Cathode is with H2, anode is with the Cl2. So uh, cathode is H2, H2 plus uh, either of these two, and anode is Cl2. Anode is Cl2. There is only one. Right? So it helps you easily if you figure out which ions are undergoing reactions, yeah? So always think of that. What is observed during the electrolysis of aqueous copper to sulfate using carbon electrode? Copper to sulfate, what is observed, right? Just think of the question. What is observed when electrolyzed uh, aqueous Using carbon electrodes, it's a reactive, unreactive or inert electrode. Of course, copper is getting deposited and sulfate never. So it is this too. You know, once the copper is removed, its color uh, a pink solid is deposited on the anode. No, it's at the cathode. Bubbles form at the negative electrodes. Not really, negative electrode, it is copper. So bubbles are never formed. The color of the solution fades True because copper ions are getting removed. The negative electrode becomes smaller. There is no change at the negative electrode. Uh, there is a change. Negative electrodes, you know, copper is getting deposited, so it is growing in size. So the correct answer is the color of the solution fades. Finally, the last question, aluminum is extracted from its molten oxide or by electrolysis whereas zinc is extracted by the reduction of its oxide when heated with the coke. Which statement explains this? Aluminum is very high in the reactivity series. That is correct, right? Aluminum ores are very rare. No. Electrolysis is a cheaper method than reduction of ore with the coke. That's not correct. Carbon is much cheaper. Zinc oxide is higher in melting point than aluminum oxide. No, aluminum oxide is much higher. So aluminum is very high in the reactivity series. The reactivity series, if you know, I uh, ask students to remember this way. Please stop calling. Please stop calling my African zebra in the language, then hydrogen, then class. Sorry for that. P stands for potassium, S stands for sodium, calling for calcium, my for magnesium, A for aluminum, zinc, I for iron, T for tin, L for lead, then comes hydrogen, then comes copper, then uh, other less reactive metals. Potassium and sodium, please keep in mind, it's KNA. 
actually they are not they are with only with their names in course so with this we stop solving the multiple choices let me say if you could uh, understand this well and good these questions are rated as really tough questions you know if you can do and if you are understanding uh, you are good see you then in the next video thank you